Yo, what's good? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. What's up, people? Hope we're having a good one. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get a professional vocal sound in under two minutes. I want to clarify, if you're an experienced mix engineer, this video is not for you. This is for the beginner who doesn't know much about complex compression and EQ settings and just wants to get going and get a professional sound. The absolute quickest way to get a professional vocal sound if you're just starting out is to use two things. Number one, a pitching plugin, and two, CLA vocals. Pitch is one of, if not the most important part of a good vocal sound. You could have the best compression settings in the world, but if your pitch is off, then no one's gonna like how the vocal sounds. Some of the pitching plugins I would recommend are Auto-Tune, Wavestune, Metatune, and if you really don't have any money, and Auto Pitch. To illustrate these techniques, I'm gonna be using a vocal provided by my girl, Eva Grace. We actually just dropped a new song. If you're into hyper pop music, definitely make sure to go check that out. I'm gonna be using Auto-Tune Pro for today's tutorial because it's the most popular and all of the settings still apply to any other pitching plugin that you're gonna use. Now, the first thing you want to do is set your key. If you don't know how to find the key of your song by ear or playing an instrument, I would recommend downloading some software like Auto Key or Hornet Song Key MK3. What these will allow you to do is just drag in your loop or your instrumental and it'll automatically provide the key of the song for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this to F sharp minor because I know that that's the key that the song is in. You'll know if you set the key correctly because if you don't, all the notes are going to sound really bad. And if you do, almost all the notes are going to sound magically really good. So let's hear this vocal solo. What if I hit you in my car? And max out all your credit cards. Another quick tip is to make sure you set this input type correctly. If you're dealing with a female vocalist who's singing really high notes, then I would set it to soprano. If you're dealing with someone who's kind of in the middle, alto or tenor, and if you have that really low voice, then I would just put low male. I know Grace is an alto, so I'm gonna set it to that. The only other setting that you really need to focus on is this retune speed. Turning to the right gives you more of an auto-tune t painy type sound, and to the left gives you a more natural, human, less tuned sound. So let's go ahead and set that now. And all right, I think 33 sounds good. Once you do that, you wanna to move to step two and that is to add CLA vocals. I wanna start by saying, I know a lot of y'all don't have money to spend. I definitely didn't starting out, but I also gotta say, you gotta invest in yourself. If you already spent the money on a microphone and an interface to record vocals, you may as well spend an extra 29 bucks on CLA vocals to make your vocal recording and mixing way easier. I promise you, you will not regret buying this plugin. The first thing I would do is go to this face-to-face -face dry setting. I found that this preset covers the most ground and is most likely to get you to that kind of radio ready vocal sound. The next thing you to do is set your input sensitivity to where it's consistently hitting greenish to yellow. What if I hit you in my car and max out all your credit cards? Okay, that's sounding pretty good in my ears. Next, you want to set the reverb. And what that is, is basically the space that the vocal is sitting in. If you want it to sound like it's in a small room, then I would use this tight one. If you want it to sound really large, use the large. And if you want it to sound absolutely massive, use the chamber. For this song, I think I'm going to go with the tight one. What if I hit you in my car? The next thing you want to do is move on to the delay. I find a good starting point is the quarter note delay. What if I hit you in my car and max out all your credit cards? You can tell it's just echoing a little bit and providing a little more dimension to the vocal. After that, you're about 95% of the way there. If you want to get really weird, I would mess with some of these pitch effects. Can kind of give you some weird chorusy Travis Scott type feeling, but I don't think it's necessary for this song. Now, one thing you might run into depending on your mic and vocal setup are S's and the way you want to deal with those is just to use a de-esser. Today I'm going to be using the Waves de-esser. I would just go with one of the presets, female S, and then I'll just adjust the threshold until you start seeing some reduction and you see that over here in this attention column. I found that a good place to be is about around minus three to minus six. What if I hit you in my car and max out all your credit cards? After that, it's really just adjusting it to taste. If a vocal is a little too bright, I would just turn this top down. If your vocal is a little boomy and has too much bass, I would just turn this lower down. All right, let's play it before and after just to see what these plugins did. What if I hit you in my car and max out all your credit cards and broke you like you broke my heart? And here's after. What if I hit you in my car and max out all your credit cards and broke you like you broke my heart? What if I hit you with what if, what if, what if, what if I hit you in my car? And that, my friends, is how you get a professional vocal sound in two minutes. Appreciate you guys for coming. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If there's any other video ideas that you have or things that I can improve on, make sure to let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, smash the like and subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. It would really help your boy out. Regardless, y'all have a great rest of the week. Keep making dope music. Keep vibing. And I'll see y'all next time. Love you.